So I'm starting a new series here on YouTube and uh, this is going to be the first video of the series. This series is all about making different kind of skincare products using extracts from turmeric. And I'm going to take you through the process of making two different kinds of turmeric extracts in this video. Basically, I'm going to show you how to make a turmeric glyceride, which is water soluble, as well as the infused turmeric oil. So first out, I'm going to start by introducing you briefly to turmeric powder. Basically, it's a spice that originated from India. Turmeric is commonly used as a spice in food preparation, but it has also found its use in skincare. It has a lot of amazing benefits for the skin. Some of the benefits that it has been um, proven to um, have on the skin is the anti-inflammatory properties. It helps to suit inflammation on the skin and it also um, contributes to the skin health. It improves the skin glow and it brightens the skin. And now the primary components uh, in turmeric that is responsible for these benefits is called curcumin. And uh, we're going to be um, trying to extract this component using two different methods. Using the glyceride, making a glyceride as well as making an oil-based extract using almond oil. So these are the two solvents that I'm going to be using in order to make the these turmeric extracts and i'm going to take you through the process so let's get started i'm going to start by introducing you to the ingredients right here i have my turmeric powder which i'm going to be using for the infusion so i have measured out the powders in two different petri dish i'm going to be using one for the glyceride extract and the other for the infusion Next, I have my solvents. Basically, for the oil infusion, I'm going to be using some almond oil. It also has a lot of amazing benefits for the skin. And uh, this is one of the reasons I also selected this oil to serve as the solvent. And I um, also have some distilled water right here. I'm going to be using it for the water extraction. Um, and um, basically, I'm also going to be using some glycerin, which is serving as the base and it's going to serve, it's going to be the one to um, preserve the product throughout its shelf life because we're going to be using quite a significant amount of glycerin to ensure that the extract remains safe and stable for a long period of time. So this is glycerin right here. And um, that is the second solvent that I'm going to be using for the water-based extraction. Right here, I have some tea bags and I'm going to be using them for the extraction process. If you're able to get some, it makes the whole process easier and less messy. Uh, but if you're unable to get some, you can stick to the conventional method by simply adding your powders directly to your solvent. So this, um, I'm going to start out um, by preparing the oil infusion. And basically, so while I was recording the video, it has taken some time. It's been a while since I recorded a YouTube video, so I made a mistake. Uh, I was going to use the tea bag for the extraction, but I ended up adding the solvent directly to the turmeric powder. I was going to exclude this part from the video, but I thought about including it just so you know that you can also do it this way. So I ended up making a cold process infusion because I didn't want it to go to waste. And I'm going to be decanting it after three weeks. So now back to uh, what we're doing today. Basically, the first thing I'm going to do now is to load the turmeric powder in the tea bags. So this is what I'm doing currently. You want to um, make the whole process easy by simply adding it to the tea bag slowly. And when you get to a particular point, where you think it's not only going to take more, you close up the tea bag and then you can grab another one. You don't have to use just one. Again, if you're unable to get um, the tea bags, you can use the uh, order method that I showed to you earlier by simply adding your oil directly to the powder. And then when the whole thing is done, um, when you're ready to extract um, the, uh, the filtrate uh, from the residue, you simply use a cheesecloth for the filtration process and then you're going to get your pure extracts just like you would using this method the only difference is i'm using a tea bag and then you're not so um 
you whatever works for you i will have linked down the uh, supplier that i got this from i'm going to try and see if i'm able to get the link uh, i'm able to link it down in the description box so if you also want to get the tea bag um you can get it from that supplier so the whole process is going to take a while i don't want to speed this up um but i'm going to have to but basically this is what you need to do simply load your tea bags ensure that you tighten it properly with the rope and then you can use it for your extraction process now it is time to combine the solvent and the powder basically um this is my almond oil i'm currently pouring it into the glass bowl so um eventually when i was ready to take this to heat because we're going to be using a hot process method for the extraction i had to change the container because um i felt the glass was not strong enough but i wanted to use the glass so you could see um the content properly i also covered it up with an aluminium foil in order to prevent anything from getting into the product during the extraction process. So the extraction process is going to go thus. Basically, I'm going to be placing this in a water bath and then I'm going to go on to heat gently for about one hour, 30 minutes, up to two hours. But you also want to make sure that you're doing this on a low heat. You want to use a gentle heating method to uh, for your extraction process because you do not want to damage the components that you are trying to extract. And so I just placed the bowl in um, in this um, container's container for the extraction process, and um, I, um, that has been placed on heat. So now it is time to prepare the extract for the water phase. Again, I'm going to be loading the tea bag with the turmeric powder. I'm going to be making use of two tea bags as well in order not to overload the tea bags and make sure that the whole process is um, done properly. And then I'm going to um, add, I'm going to incorporate water. Basically, I'm going to be adding water first when it comes to the water-based extract. I'm going to be adding the glycerin later on after the extraction process has been concluded. So for now, for the um, heating aspect for the water-based extract, basically I'm going to be um, I'm going to be heating the turmeric powder with some distilled water. You want to take note, you want to make sure that you're using distilled water. Please make sure you do not use tap water, especially if you plan to actually make this extract for commercial purpose. Perhaps you're going to make use of the extract in your, um, your products that you sell to consumers. So you want to ensure that you're using distilled water for this process and um, Right now, the tea bags are fully loaded and I just added the distilled water into the bowl. And next, I'm adding the tea bags into the distilled water. So just like I did for the oil infusion, I'm also going to cover this up with an aluminum foil before going ahead to heat. So um, you also want to be careful while heating this extract. First of all, you don't want to use too much heat for the process. Also, you want to ensure you check regularly throughout the whole process. Uh, for me, I used um, 1 hour 30 minutes for the extraction process. And um, basically, this is after the extraction process. This is what the oil looks like. And uh, the other one is the, uh, the water-based extract. So for the water-based extracts, you, I forget to mention, basically you do not really need to measure the amount of distilled water you're going to be adding into the extract at the beginning. But you want to make sure that by the time the extraction process is done, you want to have about 20% of the water-based extract at the end of the whole process. And um, this is simply... Um, you might be wondering how this is achievable basically all you need to do is you by the time you it's past the one hour 30 minutes mark uh, first of all you're going to be needing to add more distilled water as the extraction process is going on and then by the time you are completely done with the whole process you want to make sure that when you measure the uh, final yield you have about 20 gram if it's more than 20 grams, simply turn back the heat on and allow the water to evaporate a little. And if it is not up to 20 grams, you can simply add more water to make it up to 20 grams. So now I just added the, um, the extract 
into glycerin, uh, which is the other uh, solvent in the water-based extract. So basically, the glycerin is going to help to preserve the product throughout its shelf life. It's going to extend the shelf life of the product. This product is going to be able to last up to a year when you do it properly, just like I did in this video. And um, I just mixed everything together so as to ensure that everything has been properly combined. And um, this brings us to the end of the glycerite extraction or of the water-based extraction. So this is what the final product looks like. It was really beautiful. Um, by the time you make yours, you'll be able to see what the actual product looks like, but it was really beautiful. And um, right now, I'm going to pack this up in... Um, in an amber bottle. I'm using an amber bottle because I'm trying to preserve the curcumin in the extract for as long as possible. So you should also consider using um, you should also consider using an amber bottle so as to protect the component from a light and to be able to preserve it for a longer period of time. And um, basically, this is the end for the water-based extraction. So I'm going to put a label on that in order to remember what I have in the bottle. And uh, basically, we are done with the glycerite. So now let's go back to the infusion. So this is what it looks like. Um, at this stage, it has significantly cooled down because when I just removed it from heat, it was considerably hot. And um, right now, it has cooled down. So I'm also removing the, uh, the tea bags and I'm trying to get out the residue and the remainder of the oils so that I'm getting um, the most out of the extract. And um, you want to press that, or, but you also want to do it uh, gently so you don't end up busting the tea bags and then you're going to have the powder in the filtrate. So this is what I have. It looks really beautiful. Basically, we do not need to uh, process this any longer. Uh, I'm just going to add the vitamin E tocopherol to the to the infusion to help to increase the shelf life and prevent oxidation in the long run. And just like I did for the glycerite, I'm also going to package this up in the amber bottle in an amber bottle so as to protect the component for as long as possible so this brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for staying with me till the end i would love to hear from you about how this has really helped you i'd love to see posts about this on your social media page as well simply take a screenshot of any aspect of the series or any aspect of this video and um, upload on your social media and make sure to tag me Thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. Happy formulating.